Hello, it's been a while, but I am back with another video. In this video, I will be testing out the Prismacolor Premier Color Pencils. A while back, one of you asked me if you could use regular color pencils on repaints, and I told you that I was gonna check. <laughs> this was like six months ago. Uh, but I'm finally doing it. <laughs> After six months or so. But yeah, um, I had the same question whenever I first started. I wondered if you could use regular color pencils, but I never tried it out because everybody just said watercolor pencils. So then I just bought watercolor pencils. But I know some of you can't afford watercolor pencils and you do have actual color pencils. So this video is for you guys. Going into this doll, I had no idea what I was gonna do. All I knew is that I wanted her to have blue eyes, a pinkish, reddish makeup, purple eyebrows, and that's it. That's all I went in with. Everything else was improvised. So I first went in with a light gray color pencil just to mop out the eyes. Uh, and then I went in with a mediumish reddish color um, just to mop out the, like, the crease and like the eyelid shape just to give me like a foundation to be able to work on and then I also went in with a mixture of like red and orange to like add blush around the cheeks and the nose so for the lips I wanted like a brownish nudish color I don't know I, that's what I was going for it didn't really turn out how I wanted it turned out more of a burgundy type of color but it's it's fine it's fine I ain't mad uh, for the eyebrows, I just went in with some soft pastel, some purple soft pastel, just added some blobs there, and then I just shaped it with uh, my knead eraser, trying to get them as even and decent as possible. Something that I struggle with with uh, using regular colored pencils is that adding layers can be difficult depending on the amount of layers and the amount of pressure that you use. Obviously, uh, if you have like a nice sealant, like a nice layer of sealant, you should be fine. Uh, I didn't struggle with it a lot, but just where the eyeliner would normally be or where the eyeliner is, uh, whenever I was adding the black. Uh, it would start to like peel off the bottom layer uh, I don't know why specifically there but yeah it would start peeling off so just if you do try to do the use regular color pencils just be careful with that make sure to add a nice layer of sealant to prevent that from happening some of you already have color pencils and it's just if you're beginning and you're just barely starting to do this it's okay to go in with uh, regular color pencils because um, you're just starting you're trying to practice you're trying to see if you actually like doing this so yeah I would just suggest using regular color pencils you don't have to actually buy watercolor pencils if you're just starting and if you're trying to see whether this is something that you enjoy or not just go with what you have it's always and you can do some decent looking stuff, definitely. Right now I am going in with a light brown to just add freckles randomly where I see fit and then I'm going with a darker brown just adding, you know, some variation of color. So for the eyes, I wanted her to have like a pale light blue eyes but for some reason the light blue wasn't really showing up so then I just ended up going with the darker blue I was like you know what just dark blue eyes is fine so yeah I'm going in with an indigo type of color and then I went in with a black to try to add some like dimension around the iris I also went in with a white to try to add uh, like some sort of like reflection or something just something light to have like dimension in the eye just not one solid flat color
Right now, I'm going in with a pin. Uh, I dipped it in like some white acrylic paint, and I'm just like adding it to the eyes, try to like add the little reflection, like a glossy look type of thing, and just some final touches. Alright, so final thoughts, um, if you are somebody who has been wanting to try doll rig paints and you're not sure if you're going to like it or not, uh, you just want to give it a try, um, but you don't want to spend money on watercolor pencils, you can use regular color pencils, I'm pretty sure you can buy a 24 pack um, at Walmart for like $20, I feel like I've seen them there before, so yeah, you get more colors uh, for cheaper and they work pretty fine, just as long as you have like a good sealant, I would recommend. Mr. Super Clear, just add like a nice layer of sealant just to prevent um, any further layers from coming off and you'll be fine. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and helpful. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Um, if you haven't, click the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.